Welcome to my second ever Q&A. I hope all of you enjoy the video and I just want to let all of you know that if your question wasn't shown, don't be discouraged. It wasn't here most likely because it was either a duplicate question, just didn't fit well in the video, or I already answered it in my first Q&A. So without further ado, let's start the questions. Loopy, what does the G stand for? Well, G, I don't know. What do you think it stands for? Hi. Sup. What made you start playing Toontown? I believe as a kid I must have seen the original commercial for it back in like 2003 and later on I was just really begging to play it and here I am today. When do you play Toontown Rewritten or any other Toontown server? Really these days most of the time I play Rewritten is solely kind of just during a stream or dropping by when someone else is streaming or maybe when I'm getting screenshots or recording for videos. I don't really play much in my leisure time anymore. What's your opinion on Pigo discrimination and TTR? I think it's wrong, darn it. It's time for us to stand up and realize how delicious pigs really do taste. What's your favorite meme? This entire video. What's your favorite series of yours? That's a good question. I think it really varies from series to series when I start working on an idea that I really like. But if I had to pick one, I think I would choose the mystery series, and I'm sure a lot of you would agree with me on that. Sorry for the sad reality, but TTR is most likely going to die off. When this happens, are you, or what will you move on to and make videos on? I think in the event that TTR does die, I'll just be moving on to whatever else is out there. If it's Fellowship, Relived, or some other server, so be it. But that's probably where I will be. Can you show us playing Toontown like doing one of the bosses? Yeah, I have like 30 non-commentated boring VP videos. I'm sure you all love those. In all reality, that'd probably come in the form of a Let's Play series similar to the Fellowship series I have with Joey. Hey, so If TTR opened the executive office and boss but HQ and everyone was able to fight the chairman, who would you bring to the final battle with you? I would enlist the beefiest, strongest tunes I could find to carry me gently to the finish line. Will you ever notice me, Senpi? No. What's your favorite Toontown server? I think Rewritten just because that's the one I've really spent the most time on and the one that has the biggest fan base, but I love Fellowship 2 with their gag choices and it's just like a kind of completely different feel, but ultimately I would have to choose Rewritten. Are you a tune in real life? Please answer, I have doubts. Illuminati confirmed? How many Loopy's balls are in the USA? My figures estimate between 1 and 1 million. Have you ever taken a hiatus from playing TTO, TTI, or TTR? I definitely have. Back on TTO, I used to take actual years of hiatuses. Over the course of my time on Toontown, there's been plenty of breaks that I've taken, and I feel like you just kind of need them to keep the game fresh and entertaining. What is your religion and what state do you live in? Going ham with the hard-hitting questions, huh? I don't really consider myself religious, to be honest, and I live in Florida. What is your take on the My Little Pony slash Brony fandom? What is your favorite boss? Can you sing? What made you open a shop on Loopy Lane? What is your favorite COG? Should the COGs attack higher damages? How did you get in contact with Jesse Shell and other notable people? Oh, jeez, okay. Rapid fire. Uh, it's not for me, but to each their own. CFO. I feel like I can sometimes, but when I record myself, I just cringe, because it's bad, so probably not. And uh, the disservice of empty buildings, flunky, I think there should just be higher level cogs with higher attacks, and just researching and reaching out to them on publicly posted forms of contact. Do you know what Toontown Apex is? What are your thoughts on it? I do know of Toontown Apex, and I think it's an awesome concept, and I'm hoping that it does become more popular. And, uh, more on Toontown Apex later in the video, by the way. Cracked version of Sony Vegas? Cracked version of Sony Vegas. How did you feel when you first discovered Toontown, and how do you see the TTR community expanding? Or do you think the team might lose their enthusiasm over the game? I was in love when I first discovered Toontown. I played it constantly for days and days and days, so I, I mean, I was, I was crazy about it. And I'm hoping that TTR can write the ship and get content and updates out, or otherwise I think the game could actually just start going downhill. Why do people prefer short tunes? Is there any function for it? I don't know really. I think it's all really subjective and based on preferences, but I don't think there's really any real function. Maybe a bit easier to do the Pyron and the VP, but I don't I don't think so. I'm I'm not sure. Do you feel like the chairman would be a good addition to TTR? I think any kind of expansive content like that would be leaps and bounds for TTR at this point. 
I'd love something new and exciting like that. How much did your outfit costed? Like, thousands of jelly beans, man. Thousands. When do you think the new species will be released, and what is your middle name? Hopefully sometime in 2017, and my full name is Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de la Rosa Ramirez. Sweet life of Zack and Cody, anybody? Are you happy with your progress on YouTube? I didn't even imagine getting even close to this point that I've reached on YouTube, so I'm, I'm actually very happy with everything. Is there any chance you can help TTR find new people to help them before it dies out? Really, that all comes down to Joey and the TTR staff. I don't have any connection to them, and I think we all just kind of have to hope that they can manage to work out the kinks. Will you ever do more Toontown server gameplays? I would absolutely love to. I'm keeping my eye out for things as they come along, and if something comes along that I feel like would be good content, then I'm gonna do it. Will you and everything Roy make another Rabbin and Roy video soon? Alright. Yo guys, welcome back to r and &R. I'm Roy. I'm- Just kidding, I'm, I'm Rabbin. Just I'm, don't get confused, I'm Rabbin. I'm Rabbin. I'm Roy. I'm, I'm, I'm Rabbin though. You're so. also Loopy Goopy G. Dude, don't spoil- that's the net. No, I did, didn't Secrets hear it. out of the bag. Didn't no. hear it. Didn't hear it. Didn't hear it. Didn't hear it. Didn't hear it. Yeah, we're coming back soon. How old were you when you started your channel? I created the Loopy Goopy G channel when I was just 16 years old back in 2012. I didn't post my first video until I was 18 though in 2014. What do you think the TTR staff need to add to make it better? I think any consistency on any new content would just be a start. Getting content out like Toonfests and not having multiple month-long issues is the launch pad in my opinion. Did you hear that Club Penguin may end in 2017? What will you miss about it if it does? I hadn't heard about that and I don't know. Puffles are kinda cute, I guess. Loopy Goopy, are you friends with Mega Snoop? Absolutely, I'm very close friends with Mega Snoop. In fact, if you don't actually believe me, listen to what he has to say himself. Loopy, Google, Noodle, whatever his name, yeah, totally, best friend ever, mm-hmm, love the dude. Okay, so where's my five bucks? Th th that that's my friend right there! What year did you start playing TTO? Also, how did you find out about TTR? I first played TTO in late 2003. I found about TTR when I browsed the website MMO Central Forums, which was formerly called ToontownCentral.com and I saw posts about it. Who are your three favorite NPCs in Toontown? Sid Sonata because I like his SOS, Professor Pete because how could you not like him, and Little Old Man because he's such a hated NPC that you can't not like him. What are your PC specs? i5, 4670K, 8 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 570. Not the most high-end rig, but it does the job for me. If you were a COG, which would you be? The Flunky is my spirit animal. How come you're the funniest Toontown YouTuber but with 5k subs? Shouldn't you have like a million subs by now? I know, right? That's what I keep asking myself, gosh. Would you ever consider posting games other than Toontown such as Wizard101 and will you be live streaming again? I'd be open to it but I'm always kind of hesitant because it's not really what a majority of my subscribers would probably want to watch and it just wouldn't do well compared to a lot of the other things that I do. And I promise that I'll stream more soon, it's just really hard for me to get the time and to be in the right mindset and motivation for it lately. Do you think this year's Toonfest will have any doodles? If you mean this year, I'd say not a chance, let's just be real, okay? Mustard or mayo? Also, how long do you think Toontown will last if TTR keeps the way they're doing things up? Mustard easily any second, minute, hour, day, week, month, or year. And I would realistically give it a few more years at this rate before anything like a closure would happen. Can you put a Donald Trump face picture on the left corner for the rest of the video? Your wish is my command. Boop. What made you want to start YouTube? In general, I wanted to start because I thought the idea of doing videos that might reach people and create an audience would be a ton of fun to do. I started this channel with the idea to do that with Toontown, but I never got around to it until a while after I changed the purpose of this channel. What is your favorite state and NBA basketball team? Florida, and despite how trash they are, the Orlando Magic. Can you play 20th Century Fox on flute slash recorders? I can't, but I can give you a clip.
What toon species do you want added and rewritten? I voted elephant because they're awesome and unique. Loopy Goopy G. A man with his own established business, meatball brand, and mildly successful Toontown YouTube channel. Such a man, cat, must be bombarded with the most absurd, strange, and possibly taxing comments, theories, threats in the entire community due to his sheer intelligence he presents us. My question to you is a question we all ask. How do you sleep at night? Like a freaking baby, man. If COGS were to exist in the real world, would you be the first to take charge having the knowledge of Toontown, or just be a follower? To be honest, I'm super introverted in real life, so I'd probably just be a filthy follower, but that's a really great question. If you could replace any single gag track with a new one, what track would you replace and with what? That's a really good question. I'm trying to think of a track that I'd remove, and I guess the most likely would be Squirt since there's enough attacking gags that we could probably spare it and maybe replace it with a track that does passive damage or healing to tunes, or maybe like a really low damage perfect accuracy gag, I, I don't know. Uh, but I think the gags are actually pretty well balanced as is, but who knows. Do you have a pet? We have three doggies and two iguanas living in our household. If TTR never was a thing, what would you be doing? I'd probably be doing something maybe more productive with my life. Hey, Lamau. What is a feature that you think should be put into action? I think the ability to toggle teleporting on and off. Could you imagine how nice it'd be to be able to not allow anyone to just randomly teleport to you? Favorite subject in school? Anything that didn't have to make me think, to be honest. Probably gym on the free days when we could just play basketball or something. Thank you so much for the kind words, by the way. Do you think Toontown will eventually recover its old player base? I think if they can turn it around and get new content out there, then we should see a steady increase of players. And so I think we should all just hope that that happens. What were you like as a kid? Imaginative, very sensitive, shy, and probably playing with either Yu-Gi-Oh cards or action figures. Are you ever going to show your face ever? I may never show my face never. In all seriousness, if you do some snooping around on the Rabin and Roy Twitch or YouTube channel, you should easily find it. Can you make your tune fat? Obesity is a real problem nowadays, thank you very much. Can you help me? No. Are you single? Sorry to break the bad news, folks, but I've been taken for over a year and a half now. Heartbreaking, I know. Will you bond with me? I will when you do, fam. Whatever happened to your second half, Roy? He's always here in the background in all of my videos and streams. I mean, I I'm serious. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Roy? Yo! Roy? What's up? What are you doing? Alzheimer's. Speak up, son. I can't quite hear you. I can hear me! Jesus Christ. I will talk like this from now on. Please don't. Please Let's spare go us. to transmission. You, know you just go back to doing whatever you're, you're doing, alright? Have you played the game Fusion Fall? I have and I actually enjoyed it a bunch back in the day. I'm looking forward to that remake of it coming out and I can't wait to actually be able to play it again once that does. Why don't you upload Fellowship more often? To be like completely honest and out there, it usually doesn't do as well as my other creative videos, so I kind of space it out in between more creative content like rants and mysteries. And actually, I need to record more videos with Joey before I can actually do that, but that's my reason. How does it feel to have over 5,000 subscribers? I think it really sets in and you get that feeling of like realization that you've you've grown a YouTube channel to a certain point once you have actual people that try to comment first on every video right when you upload it. Why did you make your tune look like some sort of detective? Also, if you could type a name for doodles, what would you name one? I got the clothing from a beta code on TTR and the accessories just kind of came out in a bunch in the catalog, so in my mind I thought it would just make a nice little outfit and it actually fits in really well with my mystery videos too, so I, I kind of just went with that. And it would probably be something really uncreative like jelly bean or something. What's your favorite kind of weather? Low 60s Fahrenheit and a clear sky? Either that or similar conditions and overcast so I don't have to deal with the sun? Would you ever become a partner on Twitch? If so, would there be a Loopy's Balls emote? Also, when do you think TTR is actually going to do something with Toonfest, considering it's basically dead by now? What do you think they might do with that? I would happily become a Twitch partner if it was possible, 
and I would definitely try to get a Loopy's Balls emote. I think it might end up just getting pushed into next year at this rate, and I remember they said something about having Toon Fest Toon Tasks and other things planned, so I'm awaiting that kind of stuff. What was the hardest thing that you've ever done in your Toontown history? On Toontown Online, I chose 25 Boolean Mints for a 3 point laugh boost because I was a stupid little kid. And it took me so long to grind that out and that is it for sure in my opinion. What do you want more, Toonfest updates or doodles? At this point, I would just enjoy the Toonfest updates. I want to see what they have planned for it. Loopy, can you talk to the TTR team about making the vacant green store on Loopy Lane into Loopy's Balls? I, I would, but I don't, I don't want to get banned. What is your favorite cut content from TTO? I think I would have really enjoyed the Cashbot field offices had they come out because I always loved craning, so being able to do that in those like field offices would have been fun, but also construction zone would have been like the top of the line choice for me because I can only imagine how awesome that playground would have actually have been. Do you like apple pie? No, actually, I'll, I'll share mine with you to be honest. Do you think there are too many Toontown servers right now? I don't think so. I think we're all just really waiting for some real amazing content by one of them before we all kind of jump to anything. What's your favorite and least favorite genre of game? I think least favorite might be real time strategy or tactics because I'm usually legitimately the worst at them. I still enjoy several games in that genre though, but my most favorite might be simulators or sandbox games because no matter what, you can always fall back on those games and just play them whenever you're bored and just do things completely different each time. Anything co-op too with friends is always a top choice for me. What? Huh? What do you like to do besides play Toontown? Lately, I've taken joy in working on content for a new channel that I want to launch in the near future. I love to watch basketball games. I spend a lot of time talking to my girlfriend. I play some games occasionally. I, I watch a lot of videos on YouTube, I check out my comments, I check out streamers on Twitch, things like that. What's been your biggest accomplishments both in and outside of Toontown? I think biggest inside Toontown, if it counts technically as inside, would be obtaining, documenting, and releasing both the original Toontown concept map and Toontown 2 prototype. And I'm sure you and many other people would agree with that. Outside of Toontown, I think it would be managing to find a wonderful, loving girlfriend and manage to hold that relationship for over a year and a half. I think that would probably be my biggest accomplishment, let's be real. Loopy Pliz, why don't you love me? Because you tried to slander my name in that fateful golfing match, I know you fat Jimmy. What do you use to record and how do you use it? I use OBS to stream and very rarely record videos for Toontown. For most gameplay videos that I do that you see, I use Fraps because it's uncompressed so the quality is usually pretty darn amazing. I'd recommend just finding tutorials for them if you're actually interested in using those programs. Can you do the TTS series more often? I find them hilarious. I think I can do that. I, I just need to get together with Joey again soon and record some more. What is your favorite animated television show? I think you can't go wrong with Futurama. I've enjoyed that show for years and years and years, and I love it so much, and I think it's a huge crime that nobody makes that show anymore. I think they should still be producing episodes for that show. What is your college major? This kid is too smirt for college. Have you told any of your friends that you play Toontown, and if so, how did they react? That's, that's a really good question, and honestly, I never told them because I was actually afraid of how they'd react. But they've all found out through Rabbit and Roy streams and stuff, and they've all actually been really nice about it. I've never heard, like, a single judgmental word from any of them about it, and one of them even watched my history video and thought that was actually really good. Plus, in my mind, if you're too afraid to tell them that you play Toontown because the fear of judgment or anything, then... Are they really your friend? I mean, like, really your friend? Like, I, I I, just think if they're your friend, you should be able to be open about things like that. But that's just my my open two cents about the subject. If Toontown Rewritten or Offline were to add a new type of minigame similar to golfing or kart racing, which minigame would you like to see? That's actually a really good question. I've been I've been thinking about it for a while and while I'm not really sure, 
maybe something like an obstacle course kind of mini game or maybe like a 3v3 competition of like a like a obstacle course rowing a boat as a team and like a like a hurdle relay where you have to jump over obstacles or something like crazy like that i can't really think of too much really but that's just my random thoughts how would you respond to warrior clans if you happen to spawn next to a clan when you got into the game I'd probably just avoid them and let them do their own little thing and just kind of be on my own little merry way. What microphone do you use? Good question. For the longest time, I used a Turtle Beach X31 headset microphone, but recently I've gotten a big audio upgrade to the MXL770 microphone, and it's, it's pretty darn nice, I gotta say. Is Harambe a dead meme? Yes, definitely. Oh god, no. Will you make more Loopy's Balls videos? If so, what will be in them? I definitely could see me making more. I just gotta find the right inspiration and direction for the video. And uh, leave a comment if you'd like to see me make more of that series. Have you ever thought about level 8 gags and what they would be like? I've always kind of wondered about them, but I do feel like level 7s are already powerful enough as it stands. How did you come up with Loopy's Balls? Okay, so story time. Originally, I came up with the joke of asking if I could rent out the vacant buildings on the street, and originally I was going to say that I was going to open a sweet and spicy chicken restaurant, but after showing the script to my friend Roy, he suggested Swedish meatballs, and I never looked back. Hey, where did you get your monocle? Bargain bin at the local Goodwill. What made you want to create and start a Toontown channel? And what do you think about the community right now? Any changes you'd want to see made? I created the channel back in 2012 when I started having these little aspirations to make gameplay videos that people would enjoy, and I kind of gave up on it until I started doing other things on this channel a few years later. As far as the community goes, I think things are pretty negative in general, but people are just voicing their opinions. I wish things weren't so touchy between people, but I mean, what can you really do? How old are you IRL and in-game to an age? I am 20 years old, and if you count TTO, then Loopy would be almost 12. Uh, if you're talking about TTR, then a bit over 2 years. How do you make your videos, and how do you come up with the ideas for said videos? I use Sony Vegas, and usually just images I've created or cut out and recordings with usually fraps. For rants, it's usually brainstorming about things that irk me in Toontown. For mysteries, it's always things I wanted to know more about that I wanted to end up researching. For shorts, it's usually just kind of like a random funny thought that pops up in my mind. But mainly, if I brainstorm enough, I can come up with a video topic for any series. What is your favorite and least favorite tune task? My favorite is those little deliver a squirt gun or fruit pie slice to Professor Pete tasks, hands down. And I think my least favorite is anything that makes me grind a lot, so maybe the mom task or the 10 buildings task you get in DDL, something like that. Do a five-story boss bot with me. But... But that's not a question. Have you ever considered maxing your tune? Would you ever get another tune through all the tasks again? Would you ever solo the bosses? I've always considered and wanted to max my tune. I always hype myself up for it though, and I end up like caving in after maxing Cellbot and getting close on Cashbot. It's, it's a lot of grinding, man. I would definitely work on another tune through all of the tasks easily. And I've never actually attempted a solo, so I think I should someday. This is of top priority. Do you like corn? Yes, actually, I love corn. Corn is great. What is your favorite YouTube channel? I think the way for me to judge what kind of channel would be my favorite would be a channel that I can consistently go to that I never get tired of. And I don't know if any one channel actually does that for me, but uh, Uber Hacks or Nova or Cow Chop or Game Grumps are all great choices in my opinion. Are you still having fun making videos? I think so. Sometimes it's not the most fun if I'm feeling pressured to make a video because it's been too long since my last one and that kind of time constraint puts the pressure on it and makes me feel like I've got to do something right now and it, it kind of hurts my creativity but or sometimes I got to take breaks because some editing on videos is like surprisingly really intensive. But I still have fun creating the videos and coming up with the concepts and watching them come to life once I actually finish them, so I would say yes. Why do COGS steal everything, man? It's because they hate the fun, man. They don't want us enjoying our fun stuff. Do you play any sports? I like to play basketball when I can, but you probably wouldn't guess that though if you saw me. 
Would you prefer TTR to be run by Disney or TTR staff? Also, how do you feel about if the game can come back, it being on Unity and mobile? I think I would still prefer the TTR staff, it's just more in touch with players and uh, more personable and understands more what the general population want. As far as the sequel, I think it would probably be pretty varied from what we know and love if it's also on mobile, but we'll see if anything ever actually happens like that. What item from the catalog is your favorite? I think the piano organ because it's so ridiculously big. I remember seeing that for the first time and being astonished because I wanted one so bad. It was amazing. It was huge. I was I was blown away by it, but I was also like nine, so don't judge me, all right? Waffles or pancakes? Pancakes. Sorry, waffle lovers of the world. Do you think they should add a new cog type in TTR? I think any kind of big update like that would be nice. A new cog type would be amazing content for the game, especially where it's standing right now. So I think yes. Loopy, why'd you close down your side operation of selling discount kidneys? Cause it costs me an arm and a leg. But a tush. <laughs> Do you watch anime? I don't really. The only one I've ever really watched fully and is my favorite was the original five seasons of Yu-Gi-Oh. Does that count? Will we see you on Toontown Apex and will we see Toontown Apex videos in the near future? Once Toontown Apex comes out, you'll for sure be seeing me do some content on it. And I wouldn't rule out any Toontown Apex videos in the near future, especially if some fun updates come out about it. What is your opinion on Toonbox and do you believe it is still in progress? I'm not even really actually sure what it is to be honest, but judging by the fact that it's several years old and I haven't heard anything about it, I would imagine that it is not still in progress. Do you like Coca-Cola? Yeah, man, I like Coca-Cola and I like Pepsi and I, I like a ton of sodas, man, let's be real. Soda's amazing. And the final question comes from Finn, aka Logan. What popular people have you met, and also do you like the Wii U, and if you can, will you buy the Nintendo Switch? I haven't really met any popular people, to be honest. I, I just, I haven't. Um, I, I do like the Wii U, but I've never actually purchased one. I, I've, I don't think I've ever actually even played on the Wii U. I might buy the Nintendo Switch. I mean, I wouldn't rule anything out, but I don't think, like, it is something that I am aspiring to do at the moment. If I feel like the situation is right and I feel like I really want to, then sure, why not? Thank you all for watching. I congratulate all of you that have actually managed to make it through all of this video. I salute thee. Thank you all to all of you who have submitted a question and thanks again. And I'll see all of you again in my very next video.